What's going on miners? This is the veteran miner here. I want to show you how to put this meter box together. And this meter box was made by a company called Grand J Tech. You could actually use the code veteran miner to get 10% off if you're interested in getting one of these boxes. Pretty nice box. All these boxes that you see online, they're made by 3D printers. Same one as this one. MPT three quarter inch so we can put the wire in. I also have a link in the description of all the parts that I use for this build. So if you're interested in getting the same parts, I'll have a link in the description to uh, so you can get all the parts. Anyway, let's start putting this together and see how it goes. Here's the MPT fitting here. You're going to put it through here. Put the wires in there. I stripped the wires back already because I didn't want to make the video too long. So I did a couple of things already so it wouldn't be too long. So I'll explain everything as I go. Here's a connector here. I'm going to tighten this all the way up. See that here. It's not going anywhere. Now you have two leads here. I put this in already. Now I'm going to show you how I cut them. One lead is going to go right here. The other lead is going to go over here. Now, now I'm going to cut these back. And I just got to let you guys know, I am not a licensed electrician. I know about wiring, but I would not recommend doing this unless you feel really comfortable, unless you have a electrician's background. Because if you connect the wrong wire, this thing could go into flames, circuit breakers blowing, it's just not a good idea. But I feel personally comfortable enough to actually explain this to you guys, but at your own risk, I'm just going to show you how it actually works. So with that out of the way. Here we go. So I'm just going to cut this here. We have this one here. Okay. Now the box is pretty big. It's the same size of all the manufacturers that are making these boxes now. So I just want to get as close as possible. So I'll have it'll just be so much easier to put this all in a box. So the green's gonna be ground, the black's gonna be your positive 110, your other positive 110 is gonna be the white. So we're just gonna emulate this white to white, black to black, but this has to go to the side where you're receiving the current on one of them. You don't have to do two of them. It doesn't work that way, it just goes on one. So we'll do that. I'm gonna strip this back. Strip this one back as well. Okay. So we'll put this to the closest. Now, if you can see here inside on this particular one that I purchased, show you here, it grips when you close it in that way. So that's how this works. Same thing here, but on the ground you can see here, when you tighten it, this is not the right screwdriver for it, but so you can understand. When you tighten this, this comes in and clasps in the inside. So it's the opposite on these two. So if you happen to get the same exact one, actually understand how it works. So now this goes on one hot lead. 
this will go in the other hot lead. And here's one hot lead here. So we're going to do one at a time. So I'm actually going to use, I'll use a black one. So we'll use the black hot lead. We'll put this through. And we'll install on the black lead. Just make sure that you don't have any wires or anything frayed. Make sure it's very, very clean. If you decide to do it yourself, you don't want any wires. You've got a lot of watts, a lot of voltage going through here. So I hope you can see this part right here. Press it together. Tighten it up. See how that backed out there? So we need to push this in a little bit more. Make sure nothing backs out. Nice and tight. Wiggle a little bit. Make sure you got a good connection. And we're gonna do the other two here. See how this wire here? You want to make sure get all the strands in there. Make sure that's pushed in. can't emphasize enough, make sure your connections are extremely tight. I'm going to wiggle everything after we're done to make sure. You got to make sure. Push this in here. Make it a little flatter. All right, and now we're going to do the ground. So like I said before, this one here, it's opposite to grasp on it. So we want to put it in here. I'm trying to see so, you can so I can show you too. There we go, all the way in. Ground's the only one that's single. There we go. So now, double check. And I also want to let you guys know here, uh, fingerprints all over there, but see that little dot right there? That's when you know it's the it's right side up because if the le the dot the reset button is on the left hand side that means it's upside down. So that's this little trick there that you know that it's upside down or not. So now we're gonna wiggle everything up here. Make sure everything's tight. Double check. Nice and tight. Go. So she's all set. So we'll see how she fits in here. It's nice. Let's take a look up in here. 
put it right there. All right, these are screws that I actually had. I had some of these screws laying around. I just thought black screws that just have a, a little bit better look on there. So that was my own personal preference. So I'm going to screw these in here. I did have to take a drill bit on this box just to make sure because it just felt like the screws are just a little tighter than they should have been. So I just actually did some pilot holes with a drill bit first before I put these screws in just to make sure because it is plastic. It's full plastic but it's still plastic so you can't be too safe. This is how you put the box together. Very strong design. I like it. I appreciate it. You guys want 10% off? Veteran Miner, the link's going to be down in the description below. And uh, the next time, I'm going to show you how this all works. I'm going to plug it in and show you the PSU that I'm using for the mining rig. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great day.